Thank you, Dr. Bradley Jones, for coming in and say a few words. Salam, shalom, peace. Salam, shalom, peace. It's really quite an honor to be here with you tonight. And it's really wonderful to see the work of all of these wonderful students and to see so many of the students here. I remember that in 2010, the Tarabia School started with four students and one teacher. Naveed, I believe they were meeting in your living room. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Today, the school is bursting with over 200 children, students with impressive academic achievements. I am here to say I applaud your courage to expand. More students will notice your commitment to education and your devotion to worshiping our Creator. Similar to this rapid growth in the school, over these same years, friendships among Muslims, Jews, and Christians have multiplied exponentially in Delaware. It was not that many years ago when people of faith always just kept to their own. It was newsworthy in the Christian community when Protestants and Roman Catholics got together. However, in Delaware, in Delaware, we have developed strong ties among the members of the three Abrahamic faiths. It's been a blessing to watch Jews, Christians, and Muslims come to the realization that we have so much more that unites us than divides us. That's true. Do we all teach our children to treat others the way they want to be treated? Do we? Yes. 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 Do we all teach our children the importance of prayer? Yes. Do we all teach our children to reject evil and to do what is right and true and good? Yes. Do we all teach our children to respect others, people of faiths, other faiths, and people of no faith? Yes. Do we all teach our children to help people who are in need? Yes. Do we all want the freedom to worship as we choose? Yes. Do we all believe that love is the most important and most powerful force in the world? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Each of our faiths teaches the necessity also of welcoming the stranger. Our congregation, Westminster Presbyterian Church, is working with the Jewish congregation Beth Shalom and Hanover Presbyterian Church to resettle a refugee family from Afghanistan. And I would like to introduce them to you tonight. Sadiq, could you and your family please stand? This is Sadiq Mohammadi, his wife Maryam, his daughter, Manaz, and his youngest daughter, Madia. And they are here from Afghanistan, and I know that you will welcome them, and that you will also want to get to know this wonderful family. Thank you. Thank you. When you look around at all the faces of the people on earth, it must be obvious that our Creator loves diversity. It is only when we are not at our best that we favor uniformity. Since different cultures developed around our world, and since human beings have the freedom to think as we choose, it's no great surprise that as people who have endeavored to understand the Creator of heaven and earth, that we've discovered different spiritual paths. Many people use these differences to alienate people, claiming that their path is the only true path. Everyone must wake up to the fact 
that such thinking threatens the future of our civilization. Would it not be better for the entire human race? Would it not be more pleasing to God if we pursued how these differences enrich each of our faiths? One of the vital elements of religious faith is that we seek to discern God's dream for the world. And then we commit ourselves to making it happen. There is no doubt in my mind that our Creator wants us to view one another as brothers and sisters. To encourage one another to thrive to stand arm in arm with one another when any one of us is threatened and to work together in our community and in our state to build a province of compassion and justice and peace for everyone. May it be so.